What's up guys, Brad here, AKA Home Theater Gamer. In this video, let's talk about The Last of Us Part Two. So I normally don't do these types of news videos, but uh, this one hit me pretty hard. I was actually in the middle of filming another video, but this one just kind of takes precedence because it, it really bummed me out and I just wanted to talk about it. I, like many others, have been really looking forward to The Last of Us Part Two. Uh, it's seen delay after delay, which is kind of common practice for Naughty Dog. They strive for perfection more than just pushing the game out the door. But recently it actually got pushed from February to May. But earlier today, PlayStation tweeted out, update, SIE has made the difficult decision to delay the launch of The Last of Us Part Two and Marvel's Iron Man VR until further notice. Logistically, the global crisis is preventing us from providing the launch experience our players deserve. Then shortly after that, Naughty Dog posted an article under their news section on NaughtyDog.com stating, as you've likely seen, the release of The Last of Us Part Two has been delayed. We're sure this news is just as disappointing to you as it is to us. We wanted to reach out to all of you and our community to give you a little more information. The good news is we're nearly done with development of The Last of Us Part Two. We are in the midst of fixing fixing our final bugs. However, even with us finishing the game, we were faced with the reality that due to logistics beyond our control, we couldn't launch The Last of Us Part Two to our satisfaction. We wanna make sure everyone gets to play The Last of Us Part Two around the same time, ensuring that we're doing everything possible to preserve the best experience for everyone. This meant delaying the game until such a time where we can solve these logistic issues. We were bummed about this decision, but ultimately understood it's what's best and fair to all of our players. We're hoping that this won't be a long delay and we'll update you as soon as we have new information to share. So yeah, a huge bummer. But honestly, I've expected game delays due to this global pandemic thing that's going on. And I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see further delays on other games that were up and coming. There actually may be delays in the pressing process as well as shipping. Now I know a lot of people do go digital, uh, myself included, but there are some people where that is not a viable option. Those people might live in an area where internet isn't that great or they don't have internet at all and they rely on brick and mortar stores or amazon.com or some type of website to get their games from. So in all honesty, this does make sense. Uh, like I said, we will probably see more game delays depending on how this thing plays out. Hopefully we'll get back to normalcy pretty soon. I'm crossing my fingers for that. And that's gonna do it for this quick video. Let me know in the comments below if you're bummed about this, if you don't mind waiting, if you got a whole back catalog, I wanna hear about it. Wanna hear what games you're playing now. And don't forget to hit that like button, hit subscribe. And uh, you know, if you wanna click that bell notification, you can do that too. I do appreciate it. And with that said, take really good care of yourselves, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.